Ragdoll Cat vs Norwegian Forest Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? With positive reinforcement, ragdoll cats learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. The ragdoll cat is an all-around best buddy to just about everyone. They love their human families even children and will get along with other pets fairly well. Docile, sweet, and happy to relax for a good cuddle session, the loving ragdoll will even greet their humans at the door when they come home. If you're looking for a companion, you can't find a much better choice than one of these easygoing felines. The gentle and friendly Norwegian forest cat, Weejay for short, is fond of family members but does not demand constant attention and petting. Ragdolls stand out for their large size, semi-long coat and a pointed pattern, and sparkling blue eyes. They are among the largest of the domesticated cats, with some males weighing in at 20 pounds or more. A ragdoll has a light-colored body with a darker face, legs, tail, and ears. He comes in three patterns, mitted and bicolor, both of which have white and color point, which has no white. Ragdolls don't reach their full size and coat development until they are three to four years old. Ragdolls sold as pets may have slight cosmetic imperfections that make them unsuitable for the show ring. These might include ears set higher on the head than preferred, a nose that doesn't turn up at the tip, eyes that aren't crater lake blue, or maybe mitts that don't go up high enough on the hind legs. As long as they have the sweet, loving ragdoll temperament, none of that really matters for a cat who will be a beloved companion instead of a show ring star. Norwegian Forest Cat is notable for its long, thick, beautiful coat and large size. The head has an inverted triangle shape, pointed at the chin and then widening on each side up toward the medium to large ears, which are heavily tufted. Large, almond-shaped eyes are green, gold, or copper, although white cats may have blue eyes or odd eyes. The moderately long body looks powerful, with its broad chest and heavily muscled thighs. Large round paws have tufts of fur between the toes. The bushy tail is as long as the body. The weatherproof double coat varies in length. The bib begins with a short collar at the neck, mutton chops on the side, and a full frontal ruff. Full breeches, long hair on the thighs, cover the hind legs. On the body, the coat is long and flowing, but it changes with the seasons. A Ouija in summer looks relatively naked compared to his full winter glory. Unlike many cats, ragdolls are notable for collapsing into the arms of anyone who holds them, even if they are cradled on their back. They love their people, greeting them at the door, following them around the house, and leaping into a lap or snuggling in bed whenever given the chance. They often learn to come when called or to retrieve toys that are thrown for them. The word most often used to describe them is docile, but that doesn't mean they are inactive. They like to play with toys and enter into any family activities. With positive reinforcement in the form of praise and food rewards when they do something you like, ragdolls learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. In a small, sweet voice, they remind you of mealtime or ask for petting but are not excessively vocal. Ragdolls have nice manners and are easy to live with. You will find a ragdoll on your sofa or bed, but generally not much higher than that. He prefers to stay on the same level with his people rather than the highest point in a room. The gentle and friendly Norwegian forest cat is fond of family members but does not demand constant attention and petting. He is satisfied to be in the same room with people and will entertain himself if no one is home. Although he appreciates the human company, he can be a bit reserved with visitors. Even with family, he's not much of a lap cat, but a nice scritch between the ears or beneath the chin is always welcome, and he'll usually reciprocate with a nice head butt or cheek rub. He communicates with classic Scandinavian restraint. His quiet voice is employed only when he needs something dinner on time, and rises only if he is ignored. This large and athletic cat is a climber. You will often find him at the highest point he can reach in the home, and unlike some cats, he doesn't have any qualms about descending trees or other heights headfirst. Thanks to his heritage as a wilderness and farm cat, not to mention his waterproof coat, the Ouija thinks nothing of fishing in a body of water for a nice meal. While he loves the outdoors, he is content to live quietly in a home. This is a smart, independent cat who learns quickly and has an alert nature. He likes to play and thrives with a busy family that loves him. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. A ragdoll's moderately long fur has a little undercoat, which means it is less likely to mat and shed, but that doesn't mean the cats need no grooming. Comb it twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair that can cause tangles. Be sure to comb the fur on the legs thoroughly, especially where the leg meets the body, where mats are most likely to occur. A rubber curry brush will smooth the fur after you comb it and remove any remaining loose hairs. 
If you are gentle and don't pull their hair, ragdolls will love the attention they receive from you during grooming time. Note that seasonal changes, as well as hormonal fluctuations in unaltered cats, can affect the length of the coat. The coat will be at its peak in winter. Ragdolls that have been spayed or neutered will usually have a lush coat year-round because they lack the hormonal fluctuations that occur in unaltered cats. Ragdolls usually go through several growth spurts as they mature. These can continue off and on until the cat is 4 years old. Don't be deceived by the pad of fat on the belly, which is a trait of the breed. Until you are sure they have reached their mature size, make sure they always have plenty of food available to fuel their growth. Brush or comb the Norwegian Forest Cat's long coat once or twice a week, using a bristle brush, wire slicker brush, or stainless steel comb. If you run across tangles, work them out gently so you don't hurt the cat. A bath is rarely necessary, which is a good thing. With the Weejay's practically waterproof coat, it can be very difficult to get him wet enough for a bath. He is certainly built to survive a cold climate. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe them as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If his coat feels greasy or his fur looks stringy, he needs a bath. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from attacks by dogs or coyotes, diseases spread by other cats, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The laid-back ragdoll and Norwegian forest are perfectly suited to family life. He rarely extends his claws when playing, and he usually doesn't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy, or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. They are happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.